Hi everyone, welcome to another Akram Format video. I'm Dr. Fala Abdul Hamid, Emergency Medicine Resident. Today, we will be discussing a procedure known as incision and drainage for an abscess. For that, well, you need to know what an abscess is. Firstly, an abscess is a localized collection of pus within a tissue, an organ or a confined space. And it can occur in any part of your body. And it can be caused by bacterial, viral or even fungal infections. And trust me, it can be very painful if left untreated and can even cause serious complications such as rupture of abscess, cellulitis or even sepsis. Lastly, before moving on to the procedure, I want to let you know that not all abscesses require drainage. So here are the indications which require drainage. So here are our equipments required for the procedure. Firstly, we have an antiseptic solution called povidone iodine or we can even use chlorhexidine to clean the area. Next, we have a 10 ml syringe for irrigation, 5 ml syringe for local anesthetic and the lo local anesthetic which we use is lidocaine. And this is the injecting needle and this is the gauze. Next, we have incision and drainage tray which contains drape, gauze, scalpel and waste bag with tie. And next we have artery forceps, forceps and scissors. And this is the swab to collect the pus. At the end, to pack the wound, we have iodoform strip. So we start with the gauze. We make sure it is uh, filled with antiseptic solution, which is povidone iodine, and then make sure it is soaked. And now you clean the area well. Okay. Next, you take for local anesthetic. So you'll be injecting the local anesthetic around the wound, not on the abscess. It is around the area so and you make sure you are aspirating before you inject so you aspirate and then inject again you aspirate inject same on the other side aspirate inject aspirate inject So we are going to apply a mild tension on the skin with forceps. Now you make the incision. Okay. Now you take the pus. You do the swab which is required for you for the culture. And you make sure you are collecting it. Next, you make sure you're cleaning the wound and you squeeze the pus around. You keep squeezing, you keep squeezing and wiping, you keep squeezing. Okay. Okay. Next. We will be using the artery forceps. We will be using the artery forceps to remove the septations. We go close. Next we will be cleaning with saline. So I'm just squeezing the remaining pusses out. Okay, as you can see here. Okay, now it is removed. Now you want to pack it. So now for packing, you use the iodoform packing strip. 
So now I'm gonna pack it with iodized strip. So you keep going in and you put it, you apply, you keep putting it till you feel it is fully covered inside. You keep going in, you keep going in. Okay, now I feel it is fully in. So now I remove the strip so that remaining pus gets removed and then I reapply again. So I'll be cutting the remaining part. So now I reapply again. So now I'm reapplying the packing. So I've made sure there is no remaining pus left. I keep going in. Okay, now I'm fully in. So now I will just cut the remaining part. So as you can see, I've left a couple of centimeters outside so that it can be removed easily.